Hey, this is Caroline. In this video, I'm giving you my top five Raspberry Pi projects. This is a Raspberry Pi 3B and a Raspberry Pi 0W. This is my opinion, my opinion only, of what I think the top five projects are with the Raspberry Pi. And this will be a countdown list. I will link in the description field below for full tutorials for every project. And this is a countdown list. Uh, so we'll start with number five. Number five project was actually my personal first project with the Raspberry Pi 3B. And that was making an Amazon Alexa with the Raspberry Pi. Um, so Amazon released their code uh, so you could put it on a Raspberry Pi. And we did this project, I actually have done this project several times. Um, they've, done, they've gone through several, Amazon has gone through several iterations of how to do this project. My latest video has this project, I'll link to it below, with an auto boot, so that way it automatically starts every time you turn on your Raspberry Pi. You will need a microphone and a speaker for this to work, uh, but it does work just with the Raspberry Pi 3. Number four project. Uh, along the same lines of the Alexa, Google Home also released their code in order for you to make your own Google Home with a Raspberry Pi. Um, so I've done this project actually three times. One was with the code on Google Assistant, just on their website, just with the Raspberry Pi. Then I saw a tutorial on Android Authority where you have a button attached to your Raspberry Pi and you press a button and then that activates your Google Home. And I did it that way and I'll link to that below uh, with my friend Liz Simpson. And then uh, when the, the AIY kits finally became widely available, I did the project with the AIY kit. The AIY kit um, comes in a cardboard box and it's got the speaker and it's got everything and then you just uh, follow the instructions on the AIY kit. That was great. Um, what's really cool is that you know Google totally goes through, this project is hackable. Please hack our project. You can do so much more than just make a Google Home with this thing. What I did was make a version of the Adafruit robot here. So this is Adafruit's design. This is their robot face. What I did was I cut out um, holes while well, I uh, I modified it in the 3D print where there are holes on the side. I'd added two servo motors and uh, turned these into little arms uh, that wave back and forth. And I added my LEDs right here on top. And this is the same AIY project as this box. I've 3D printed a new box and I've made it into like an Adafruit little robot here. Uh, and it does respond to voice commands. Uh, so I'll show you. I'll show you a little video of that. Google, wave. Hi, I am waving at you. And that was my number four favorite Raspberry Pi project. Number three, the OctoPrint server. Recently, I purchased a 3D printer. Actually, technically, I purchased a kit for a 3D printer. I got the Anet A8. I have a, an assembly video and a vlog about my 3D printing. Uh, the 3D printer was not wireless, uh, so I hooked up a OctoPrint server. I loaded OctoPrint server onto my Raspberry Pi. I actually um, have a monitor, have a little touch screen that goes on top and it looks like a little mini computer. That is how I send print jobs to my 3D printer. I love the OctoPrint server. I It is on the Raspberry Pi 3. It works like a charm uh, and, it, and I use it every day. Well, I use it every day that I use my 3D printer and that's how I get my 3D printer to print my print jobs. Number two. In my opinion, this is the most popular project I see out on YouTube or out on the internet today and that is called the RetroPie. It is a Raspberry Pi 3. My understanding is you can do this on the Raspberry Pi Zero uh, if you'd like. Um, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and I have the RetroPie image on here. I 3D printed this case. I didn't have gray, so I just did a black on the bottom. It's two pieces and then the uh, white on the top, like a retro NES case, and then I just bought two controllers, and I just jumped on the whole, you know, 90s gaming uh, bandwagon just now with this really cool 3D printed case. Love this project. And what is my number one favorite 
Raspberry Pi project. It is, of course, the surveillance camera. And I've done this project twice, uh, both with a Raspberry Pi Zero W. So this one has the camera right on the inside. And I've also done the project with a regular webcam. So I had a few webcams I purchased many years ago that I wasn't using anymore. I found them in my storage closet and I was able to hook up my Raspberry Pi Zero W to the webcam and to the you know to a camera. And the first project I did, it just took a picture every four minutes and then uploaded to Dropbox. And in my latest video, it is now motion triggered and it sends me an email, it triggers a ift webhook and I can turn it into a motion sensing light. So when it sees motion, it turns on my light um, and that is a combination of having a smart switch, smart plug and the ift webhook. I went through that whole tutorial already and it also uploads my pictures and videos that it takes with the motion um, into my Dropbox. Uh, so this is my favorite project um, so far uh, of the Raspberry Pi projects I've done. So there's a lot of possibilities when you own a Raspberry Pi 3, 3B plus or even a uh, zero. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. All the links are below. You can do these projects yourself. So please enjoy. Thanks.